In this video, I'll show you how to make this carousel with a Netflix effect using Elementor. Hey guys, what's up? This is Michaela, and before I start the tutorial, I'm going to ask you to like this video and to subscribe to the channel, which helps us a lot, okay? So that's it, let's get to the tutorial now. So come on guys, I'm here on this barbershop course page that I taught you to create on the channel with Elementor Free. I'll leave the link to it on the card and in the description if you want to learn how to create this project, okay? For this Netflix carousel function, you need to make sure that your Elementor is updated to version 3.15 or higher. So you have to go here to plugins, installed plugins, and go to Elementor and Elementor Pro and update. Remember that before making an update like this, it's important that you make a backup of your website so that if the plugin comes up with any bugs, you'll have an old version of your website there for you to upload. There's a video here on the channel teaching you how to backup your website, okay? And you have to go to Elementor settings and make sure you're using Flexbox Container because this widget is from that version of Flexbox Container. And you also need to have nested elements active, okay? So if you don't have one, you can come, set it to active, come down here and click on save. Remember that there's a video on the channel teaching you how to use Flexbox Container, teaching you all about aligned widgets. Okay? Then there's a whole Elementor playlist here that I'll leave for you. Okay, once you've done that, then you can log into your Elementor page on the page you want. Once you're on the page, just click up here and edit it with Elementor and you'll come to the editor. And then I'm going to use these images here as a reference for you. I'm going to make a carousel with them. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to take a container. It could be this container here with the down arrow. I'm going to come to style, background type, image. I'm going to put a background image here. I'm going to leave it here completely filled in and centered just so I can show it to you and then I'm going to come here I'm going to get the carousel widget that's the one here see how it has these little balls underneath I'll drag it over here it's Elementor's old carousel widget but now they've added this function where you can build anything you want inside so in each of the carousel items you see there are three carousels here you can come and build whatever you want. You can come, you can take an image and put it in. Or you can put this image here. It's set to be in a third of the container. See? That's why it's getting tiny here. So you can put in whatever you want. The container here is configurable just like the outside container. See? This container here, it has the items here vertically. If you want it to be horizontal next to each other, there are settings here that you can configure in each of the containers separately. So you can put images, see? This is all on one card in the carousel. You can put an image, you can put text, you can put a button, you can put whatever you want on each of the cards. It's completely customizable. And here's the thing. I'm going to put here just these top images so I can show you the Netflix effect. I'm going to exclude them all. I recommend that when you're going to use just the image, you do it like this. Exclude them all. Then you put an image, make the settings you want in just one container. So I'm going to leave the image here incomplete. I'm going to come, I'm going to take one of the images, which is this one. Then I'm going to come here in this inside container. I'm going to come in advanced. I'm going to put zero pad here. So it doesn't take up too much space. And I'm going to come here in the image. I'm going to come to style, rounding. I'm going to leave five rounding so that the image is rounded. And then if you want to configure the slide settings, there's this little pencil here on the outside. You take the pencil on the outside that's here and always pay attention to what's written up here. This is where it says what you're taking to configure. There's only one slide. You can duplicate it. Just click on it and you'll duplicate it. And it'll take the settings you've made. Then you can just click on each of the images, for example, and change them. Then you can click on them, change the images, move forward, and then you can select the others.
and that's it i'm even going to click outside and duplicate it a bit more so that i can have more options here to show you the carousel effect sometimes when you work with this new version it gives you a little bug here in the elementor editor this is normal you just have to wait a little while for it to come back sometimes it disappears like that you just have to wait a little while for it to come back you know and then to get that netflix effect the setting you have to make is to come here to settings and it's this option here offset sides you click on it and then you select the type you want i'm going to leave it at both and i'll update it for you to see it won't appear here this function is already here it has this bug that in the elementor editor it doesn't appear but if you reload the page it will appear here see that's the netflix effect notice that at the end of each one there's a little card cut out indicating to us that if we click here to drag there are more cards to come just like netflix and if you want to make it the full width of the screen just like on netflix you have to go here in the container go to layout content width and make it full width but then each item gets too big so it's nice if you come to the carousel come here to slides on display which is the number of slides to show here on the first screen and then you change it i'll leave five here for example and i'll click on refresh i'll see it here on the screen see then it's here on the whole screen and notice that there's still a little space here if you want to remove this space leave really stick to the length of the screen you still have to come here come to advanced come to padding and put zero padding is the space inside the container you have to leave zero to remove all the spacing look at that now it really looks like it's coming out of the screen there's no space here and then there are other settings on netflix that we can use to make it more similar for example the mouse over effect i'll show you the little navigation arrow appears when you hover the mouse it appears all the time and if you want you can do it here too you can go here come to style navigation and now Elementor gives us more style options for this navigation. Here's what I'm going to do. Here in hover, here in background type, I'm going to choose a black color here. When we hover the mouse over it, it shows it, but it's very small. So we need to add a bit of padding, which is the space inside so we can see it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 10 here. Then there's a little bit of space, see? We can see. But then I'm going to unlink the values and then on the bottom, which is the bottom, and on the top, which is the top, I'm going to put up to 90 of space. This will depend on the size of your image. See? When I hover the mouse here, it's the size of my image. It looks like this. Then I'll come here to the color and decrease the opacity. Look, it's very similar. with Netflix. If I'm not mistaken, the one there still has a little rounding around the edges. So I'm going to add five rounded edges. And if you don't want them to appear, I don't recommend it for usability, but if you don't want the little arrows to appear here, just go to normal, which is the color of the little arrow, then go there, leave it white, then you can remove the opacity, or you can just leave it very light, see? so that only when the person hovers the mouse does it appear more clearly look refresh take a look when we hover the mouse this hover appears here another thing that you can make similar to netflix is the fact that the person hovers over the image and it grows or clicks and it expands into a pop-up if you want the person to click and a video appears you can put it in each of the images come here to link leave the personalized URL it will open this little box and then you can come here to dynamic tag and add a light box see 
and then in the light box you can choose a video I'm gonna put a video this video that's up here I don't know which video that is the one I made as an example I'll come and put the link to this video here I'll click on refresh that way if I click a pop-up a light box will appear here if you want the image to grow in size too, that's possible. In that case, you come and click on Media File. It's asking if you want it to be a light box, which is the pop-up function. We'll leave it at Yes and click on Update. If I click here, it expands the image. We do that carousel effect that we see in other widgets. And then you can do this with all the images. Another setting that came with this carousel is the possibility of changing the position of the navigation arrows and the little balls that are down here. These little balls, for example, we come here in pagination. It also brought more features for us to configure the layout, but there's also custom position which we activate. It opens up these position settings. For example, if I wanted to leave these little balls up there, I would come here vertically leave them up there they go up here and here horizontally I can leave them off to the side I'm going to come here in color for example I'm going to leave it white I'm going to increase its size here so you can see it better there I've updated it and now you can see them up here see same thing with the little arrow if you want to change the position of the arrow you can do that too, but it's not here anymore. It doesn't stay here. It stays here in Content, Navigation. Then you can change its position here. It's the same. If you want to leave it on top, if you want to leave it in the middle, if you want to leave it to one side, to the other. And here it gives you the settings for each one. So this one is the little arrow on the side. This is its horizontal and vertical configuration. And this one is from this little arrow here. This is its horizontal and vertical configuration. You can make these settings too. So that's it, folks. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like here on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media. Cheers. See you next time. Bye.